Hello there, and welcome to a new edition of JAL Test Diagnostic Vlogs. Uh, my name is Marcos, and in this vlog, uh, I will show you how to identify and get connected to the different electronic modules, engine, transmission, hydraulics, or any other in your machinery or equipment. We're going to divide this vlog in three different situations. Uh, the first of them is going to be the machine system scan for Caterpillar and Volvo construction equipment. The second one is going to be the system identification and manual selection for the rest of manufacturers. And uh, finally, the third one is going to be the connection uh, through SAE standard. So the first case will probably be the easiest one uh, or the most direct when it comes to identification and connection to the ECUs. Because of the specific or special communication language used by Caterpillar and Volvo construction equipment, it will be possible to perform what we call a machine system scan. Okay, so um, once in the main uh, screen on the software, we'll go to of Kaiwen construction equipment and then we'll select either Caterpillar or Volvo. In this case, I will use, for example, uh, Caterpillar. So you go to Caterpillar and uh, machine system scan means that uh, once we have connected our Jaltes link device to both uh, computer and equipment and we have uh, power on it, we will be able to carry out an automatic scan process with uh, just pressing this button on the top. The only thing uh, rest to do is uh, letting Jaltes know which is the type of connector that uh, we're using. In this case, uh, for Caterpillar, we have two options. Uh, it could be either the 505A, we need to plug together with the OBD2 cable, or uh, we can have also the 533 uh, adapter. So very soon we will be doing another vlog uh, talking about the different connectors required to diagnose uh, different brands, uh, so just keep an eye on it. Um, so here, uh, once we have selected the type of connection, so let's say that we're using the 533A, we just click on a scan, next, and the process starts. After a few seconds, we will see all the electronic models identified uh, with the full codes present in each of them, and uh, the communication protocol through which uh, each of them is communicating. If we wanted to connect to any of them and start working on it, we just need to select the ECU and then press on connect. All right. Or we could also go and uh, double check on the system itself. As I said before, uh, this process is exactly the same for Volvo construction equipment. Of course, in both brands, we also have uh, the option to go manually to our series model and then identify the systems. However, the machine system scan will save us uh, some time in the process and uh, will let us work in a more efficient way. Okay. So this is the first one, machine system scan for Volvo and uh, Caterpillar. Um, the second, uh, for the rest of the manufacturers, uh, we will identify and connect manually to the different electronic control units. From the home screen, we select the vehicle category, brand, uh, in this case we're going to see John Deere, for example and then series or family and model in this so in this case i'm gonna go for the first of them for the 1050k so once in our model we have different options we have the uh, system selection uh, here we will select a system that we want to connect to from the list and then click on connect okay we can just uh, see them all or we can see just some specific kind of uh, electronic model okay and then uh, depending on what depending on what we check here we'll see more or less options uh, on the right so let's say that we just want to go for the engines so we have all the different engines uh, possible here all right also we can go for all system scan uh, 
okay so we can perform a system scan for all the types of systems or we can uh, customize our scan by selecting some particular systems and then uh, we just need to press the scan button okay over here then we can go for a main system scan uh, instead of having all the systems we have just the main ones in this case uh, engine transmission and central computer to scan again we just need to press the scan button on the top and finally we have some frequent tests uh, here we'll find a shortcut to the most frequent test on different systems however this will be reviewed in a different uh, vlog um, so this is when it comes to the rest of manufacturers. Uh, this is gonna be again uh, system selection, all system scan, main system scan, and finally let's see the SAE standard connection, uh, which is the connection that you may want to use whenever you don't find uh, your manufacturer or your model within the software. Of course, in Jaltis we do our best to include more and more brands and the models and uh, grow our coverage in every software update but uh, even like that there will be some cases uh, that you will not find your manufacturer on the on the software but even in these situations you are not alone and you can always use the sae standard functionality regardless of this uh, manufacturer so from the main screen uh, you will click on a file and construction equipment and then on the top in the right you have other connection options as you can see sae standard Through the SAE standard, uh, basically, we will be able to get inside uh, the data, uh, the CAN data lines, and pull generic information such as uh, fault codes, life measurements, and system data. So we click on a scan and we need to select the type of connection. So let's say that we're working with the 9 pin connector and we press a scan. Next. And automatically the software will start to identify all the different uh, electronic models and the fault codes present in each of them. Of course, it's going to be a uh, communication protocol uh, 1939. And uh, at least we know uh, what is wrong in each system. We'll be able uh, to see uh, some uh, life measurements and some generic uh, ECU data. So that will be all, the three type of connections, machine system scan for Volvo and uh, Caterpillar, uh, the rest of the manufacturer's connection with the system identification, all system scans and uh, main system scans, and uh, finally uh, the uh, SAE standard functionality for all the situations in which we don't uh, have the manufacturer or model available in the software. So thank you very much for watching, uh, I hope you have enjoyed the vlog and uh, you have any question or comment uh, just do it here below and see you soon in next Jaltes vlogs. Thank you very much, bye bye.